Talk winners and losers with our financial expert, Rob Black. Good morning, Rob. Morning, Daria. So, uh, I know Ukraine doesn't seem, and I don't know to anybody's really that optimistic about these talks, but Wall Street is? Yeah, I just think that the fact that there's conversation leads to what does happen when the reality sets in and this too shall pass. It's expensive to run a war. It's wrecking Russia's economy. It's wrecking the world economy. In the end, I'm going to follow the dollars over pride and think that the dollars should end things. I think Wall Street's kind of seeing it the same way. With that being said, we're hearing about Europeans stockpiling iodine in case there's a nuclear strike and things like that. And that's just horrifying. But Wall Street's saying, you know, the risk seems to be getting less and less if this drags on. So let's warm up to Tesla and Amazon and Apple. Um, Wall Street kind of vaguely likes the FDA story that they get for approved a fourth dose for Americans over 50 who might have complications uh, for another COVID shot. So it's not glorious data. It's not blowout earnings or anything like that. It's not, hey, we beat inflation, but we're starting to see there, there's a path out of this. Do you want to say it the way the FDA said it? They're, they're telling Americans as young as 50. That they can, I like that. As young as 50, that we... I qualify can, for that. Yeah, there you go. I just signed up. Um, what else? Oh, you did have a little thing about, there about homeowner insurance. That that that's yeah, gone up. Prices, um, not only are the price of homes going up, but the price of mortgages are going up. But insurance is up 3 to 30% year over year. I own a getaway home in the mountains, and I've seen a big spike in my premiums. Uh, I think most Americans probably have as well. But again, it's, it's, if 2022 teaches us nothing, Daria, it's inflation is, is a bad word because it eats into our earnings, it eats into our savings, it eats into our monthly budgets. So 33 to 30% with an average of about 12% in the last four years. Insurance costs are going up, so. I count it. It's a nine-letter word. It's a bad word. Um, okay, back to yes. the homes. So not just the premiums, but the homes themselves. I cannot believe how expensive it's gotten in Phoenix. Yeah, and what is it, Phoenix? It's a desert. Um, that really bothers me. It's like I don't invest in areas that have land, 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 but that's me. Everyone's going to be different. So Phoenix, Tampa, and Miami up 32%, up 30%, up 28% according to the Case Shiller Index. It's telling you that things are out of control. We both know people who have relocated to Phoenix who did it for cheap housing. It's not cheap housing anymore. Um, and year over year, the numbers out of D.C., Minneapolis, and Chicago up only 10%. If my income was up 10%, we'd be popping champagne, Daria, but it's not up 10%. So the housing costs for my kids and my kids' kids are just seem to be getting further and further out of reach. Very tight supply is the story. But here's the good news. Um, recently, payments are up 30% year over year. And home prices are only up 19%. So the mortgage rates are driving prices. Mortgage rates are um, basically driving our monthly payments way too high. We can't really afford this. That should cut down on the overspending and overpaying for real estate. That should help with the increase in inventory. But we're talking six to nine months away. So okay. but mortgage rates have jumped from two and a half percent this time last year to over 5% for some cases now. Yeah, That's that, a big jump. That adds up. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, and then lastly, you're calling this new Sony uh, PlayStation thing a subscription a winner. The Microsoft Xbox subscription thing. If it means that I get more of these automatic subscriptions to Xbox, I'm going to... I, I'm like the emails that I send them are so stop. If my name is Bootless Tundra, they give you a gaming name and then they charge you forever. Well, Miss Tundra, let me say that <laughs> you may not like it, but Wall Street <laughs> loves it. Um, we know it with AOL, you know, how many people did they have? 10 million, 11 million, 12 million. And every month they would add more and Wall Street would push the stock higher. So PlayStation's playing catch up with Microsoft. My kid has the Microsoft Game Pass and it's the best value in, in all of subscriptions. He gets brand new games the day they're released. Um, $70, $80 a year versus $60 for a new game. That seems pretty cheap. You can oftentimes get these deals at Christmas where they're discounted. But PlayStation's coming out with a $60 bundle for a year and uh, up to $120. And again, Wall Street just likes visibility. Um, I don't know what subscription services you're on. I got HelloFresh. I've got um, Hulu. I've got ESPN Plus. I've got the, the, so the bundles and subscriptions add up. Yeah. And, and Wall Street absolutely loves them. Oh, um, yeah. Because we see them as value. Wall Street sees them as cash flow. And I kind of don't even see them, right? You sign up and then you're charged. Char I haven't been on Apple TV forever. I still have it. You forget you're not going to watch that, that Coda? Uh, oh, I already saw that. I love that movie. That was fantastic. Oh, Don't even, nice. you can't even bring up the Oscars, though, because they're not talking about the movies. They're talking about the Will Smith slap. 
Yeah. Let me talk about the Oscars for a second. Yeah, second do. lowest ratings ever. Wow. The Academy would be wise to get Will Smith and Chris Rock to host the Academy Awards next year. Get fireworks, Just yeah. Pain. That's that sad. That's uh, hopefully, hopefully there won't be more of that to draw viewers. That's the last thing we need. Gosh. All right. Thanks a lot, Rob. If you have Thanks a question, for having me, Dara. we'll see you in a bit uh, tomorrow. If you have a, a, a question, you can email them or reach Rob on Facebook or Twitter. We'll be right back.